Key to wearing lashes, stop being a little bitch, okay? And then everything else is easy. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have been a dumbass for the past three weeks not making any videos. Honestly, it's just, I mean, if I can just be like completely frank, I was just in my feelings, honestly, about some stuff that I literally cannot change. And sometimes you have to understand, and this is a very harsh truth that I'm still learning to this day, you may think somebody is like an entire chapter in your life and to them you are a footnote you're just like one of many coming to the realization of that realizing that you are that even though you've had all these intimate moments with this person you really don't mean shit to them you know that's sad but at the same time that's just the truth that i was coming to terms with and it was just it left me very uninspired very unmotivated to make content and so blocked canceled we're moving on it's 2018 don't even want to we're over it, you know? So, what kind of method, uh, kind of makeup look that I want to do is gonna be like very peachy pink. The reason why I want to is because I was at Walmart and I saw a product that is usually always sold out, which is the Master Pro Highlighter from Maybelline. And I found a pink one. Definitely loved the first one, love the finish. We are gonna start with my eyebrows, which of course I'm going to edit out of. Okay, so probably like this. This, just something like real pink and simple, not anything like outrageous, you know. So, I'm going to attempt this for a second time, doing just a super quick and easy lash tutorial. If you are a beginner lash gal, this is your sweet spot. This is what you need to use. Okay, okay, this is what you need to practice with, okay? Don't be going up in Walmart or wherever else buying the fancy smanty eyelashes and then talking about some, they don't look right, I can't put them on, they're too heavy, blah, 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 because you don't need to be using them. Those are for graduates, okay? This is where you need to be at, right here. Kiss, mostly because us people that know what the fuck we're doing, we would actually like to purchase lashes that we can actually fucking use. So, if you don't know how to use lashes, this is what you need to be buying until you know what the fuck you're doing. So, I'm gonna use these just because, as you can probably guess, I went to the fucking store trying to buy some regular ass motherfucking lashes and they were all fucking gone. Why? Cause you bitches that don't know what the fuck you doing are buying them. How do I know this? Because I'm in the aisle with y'all. Ooh, bitch, which one should I get? Oh my God, what What do I do? I want some mink lashes. Bitch, you're at Walmart. This shit's not fucking mink. This is raccoon. You raggedy bitch. And I just be sitting there in the aisle like mad as hell. Like, why are you? Stop, stop. Leave that for somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm off my soapbox. So, because I want a full lash, but there weren't any of my good lashes at Walmart, I'm gonna show you how you do your lashes and also how you stack your lashes and also how you pick the, good, the best lash for you. Or if you have already have natural lashes, you don't want anything crazy, this is your girl right here. These are short, they're wispy, you just need one. It's just gonna give you a really nice natural fullness. If you have no lashes at all, you probably want to go for a, a longer lash, something, and probably maybe stack them on top of each other. Like me, I have no lashes, so I can really do anything with lashes. If I do just one, it looks really ugly. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, what I, and what I typically do is I take a long one and a short one and I stack them on top of each other, just because I want the fullness, but I don't really want them to just be like full and really long. You know? So I want them to be like full, and then you see a few glimpses of it being relatively long. So this is what they look like when you stack them. Because I think I want a little more drama, I'm probably gonna go crazy. Don't try this at home. Stack a third one on top, just because I just want the drama and I was really looking for a dramatic lash when I went to Walmart. I wasn't able to get that, so thanks, stupid. So this is giving me a relatively really full lash. This is the kind of lash that I was trying to buy from Walmart. I literally just literally stacked them on top of each other. You were initially removed these from its packaging. It has like a stickiness. You can use that stickiness to stack them on top of each other. Now you can't use that stickiness to put them on your eyelid of course because don't be fucking stupid. You need eyelash glue. I'm sorry to tell you. I use the same fucking eyelash glue. I've never used an eyelash glue and I was like this is incredibly better than the other one. They're all relatively the same. Some body might tell you different, but I don't feel like lying to you today. So what I usually do is I take a little dab, put it right there, boom. Then I take my lash, run it through it, like, boom. 
so I don't like to put the glue on the lash because I'm heavy handed so I put too much glue on there. Okay, if I run it through it like that, I can control how much glue is getting on the lash. Wiggle it just a little bit. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. You want it to get a little bit tacky, a little bit dry. This dries relatively quickly so it's all good. Oh my god, I didn't put on mascara. Great lash mascara. Takes me back to high school. Just gonna stack her on top. I don't feel like tweezers are necessary. And I did that so fast that you're probably like, bitch, how the fuck did you do that? Asked and with your fingers and without a use of tweezers and blah, 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 blah. In short, you're being dramatic. When it comes to your lashes, you're thinking too much about it. Oh my gosh, my eyes watering because you're thinking too much about it. If you just put your lash on there and don't think twice about it, everything will be fine. I promise you, the reason why you're having trouble putting on your lashes is because you're thinking about it too hard. What if it pokes me in my eye? What if I get glue in my eye? What if it's... Just put the damn lash on. I'm gonna run it through the glue one more time. You wanna use mascara before you put on lashes because it helps like blend it. Mascara is a little tacky. And when I say tacky, I mean like sticky. So when you put your lash on, you, use, you squeeze the natural lash and your fake lash together. It helps it just mesh together. What I start with is from this end to this end. From the outer of my eye. Once it's on there and you feel like it's secure, you feel like it's tacky, you're just going to push it back a little bit, push it back into it a little bit, and pinch. Tweezers are not necessary. It's like using a fork to eat a chicken leg. Like, what? You, you don't need to. Okay. But sometimes you can just get a little bit of whiteness and then you have to go in. You see like the line, you can see like the band. This one didn't dry really well, so I just go with some eyeliner on top. Another thing that you're not going to be able to get, but you're it's going to probably take a lot getting used to, it, is your eyelids feeling a little heavy. Get over it, okay? You want to wear lashes? Get over it. It's going to, that feeling's going to be there, okay? Key to wearing lashes, stop being a little bitch, okay? That's rule number one. And then everything else is easy. So I'm going to do my uh, face. I'm making good time. I got an hour and a half before I got to be at work. Pretty good time. Okay, so let's continue on. I'm going to be using the this lighter foundation and then like a dab of some cocoa and then a little bit of cocoa so you know it looks like this Kat Von D powder with a little bit of that Maybelline powder just so it has like a tint to it. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with this Master Chrome highlighter that I've been so excited to use. I just got going with her. She's looking real cute. I hope this is showing up as pink as I want it to. She's real cute. Okay, okay, I did it folks. I did a whole makeup tutorial, but that's it. That is it, that is the look. I really hope that after this, I'm just gonna be like super focused and making content and all that stuff, hopefully, you know. And it's 2018. Stop letting people distract you from the thing, from reaching your potential, reaching your goals. Stay focused. Um, I'm really just talking to myself at this point. See you in my next video. Hopefully it is very soon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. Follow me on Snapchat. Okay? Okay? Bye-bye.